one of her shoes a flung <laughs> i know that i chopped ken a couple times in the matrix house but that's where some things were happening but the school is not for the weak minded if you went to bottle school and you don't have a school daddy school sister school uncle you're not doing it right hey babes what's good welcome and welcome back to my channel i'm angie and today Hmm. We're gonna be diving deep into my experience in an African boarding school. Nigerian boarding school to be precise. If you know, you know. Boarding school is not for the weak minded, it's not for the faint at art, like the Bible says. If you cannot ask Tamina, it's sorry for you. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Oh, by the way, do you see my hair? This is human hair. 300 density. Get into it. If you're interested in getting this look, there is a video that I posted. So go check it out. Okay. Okay. So I actually only did a year in boarding school, but honestly, that was one of the most eventful years in my whole life till now the name of my bonus school was I originally planned to go to boarding school with one of my friends. We actually went to boarding school together. But then when I got to the school the first day, I met two people that I knew before from outside. And instantly, the four of us became a clique. Every time our parents would drop us off, we'll all gather in the room at night and we'll be crying. Because we missed our parents. You don't get how draining this was. I think I was like 10. Anyway, boarding school. Girls' hostel is where the girls are. Boys' hostel is where the boys are. And boys' hostel was closer to the rest of the school. Then girls' hostel was kind of hidden at the back. And in girls' hostel, we actually had two levels, two floors. Upstairs and downstairs, yeah, bungalow. And then we also had this building in the hostel. It was the entertainment room. That's where we'd go to watch TV. So this is like slightly our schedule for the day during the weekdays. You wake up, you get dressed, then you go to the cafeteria. Right beside the cafeteria, there was a bunch of shops. I always ate in the cafe because the food was busting. They all know they was flying. Without no not it's my mom is in Lagos. Hello, I'm gonna eat. Then after the cafeteria, we had assembly, and everyone would gather in the middle of the school. It would be class by class, and I still remember our school anthem. Oh boys and girls just stand for a bird that would have won Anyway, after the assembly, then we would all go to our classes I was in GSS 1C, Rev GSS 1C huh? After class, you go back to hostel Then you go change into your houseware We actually had lunch Then we have afternoon lesson or afternoon prep I can't remember But the lesson in the afternoon was with boys and girls And I remember for us GSS 1 We would go to like this building in the middle of school That building was creepy AF But that's where some things were happening Oh God of mercy. Oh God of But we would have afternoon prep and let me tell you, afternoon prep was a vibe. And there was a time that we had a whole crush scandal going on. The boys wrote the names of the people that they liked in the book. Some guys liked girls that didn't like them back. Some one guy by the name by the initial of C, he liked me according to what people said they saw in the paper. I actually hate C, I just didn't crush like C. I actually liked somebody with the initial of B. Let me tell you, B and his brother, they were crushing hearts. Especially the brother of B. Ha! Huh. I mean, he looked good at the time. At the time, especially when you're in Ibado. A lot of people were crushing on the older brother, but I was crushing on the one in my set. And I never saw his name on the list, so I kept wondering, like, what's up with you? I like Mysterious. You ever Mysterious? Anyway, after afternoon prep, you go back to your hostel, and then later in the night, we would have evening prep and evening prep was just girls but then people would find out me people would always like let me tell you something in boarding school hey, you. everything happened everything under the sun purpose in boarding school and during the weekends you will get our hair done you do your laundry i think and then sunday would have breakfast then church then lunch i can't remember what happened after that but i know we'd have evening prep and that was like our little schedule or whatever i think the first day or the second day i came into the house i got a school mommy she was in ss3 she goes by the initial of t and a lot of people say she was very strict if you went to boarding school and you don't have school parents you don't have school baby you don't have school mommy school daddy school sister school uncle you're not doing it right you need to go back and experience the boarding school again t was very academic wise and she was kind of strict to other people that's me but then all was like very social very lively but i don't know how i eventually became whole school baby but i eventually became old school baby and i was closer to all than t our matron was kind of strict and i know that i chopped cane a couple times in the matron's house i think it was either doing something like during prep or like filling a class my memory is easy okay it's kind of easy i think she would check our academic progress every two weeks and you also go to her in the morning to get your allowance every day for the week she would come and inspect the hostel every once in a while and if the hostel was not hosteling wahala also did i tell you about the rooming system you know what this video is all over the place sorry guys i'm just saying it as i remember in all the rooms that i stayed it was two bunk beds in a room and it was four to a room there was a room senior and then there were others every time your room senior was supposed to change but i was stuck with the same room leader she was a clean 
freak at the time. She would have some good days, but most of the time she had bad days because the room was not clean. And it wasn't like it wasn't clean. It was like just something on the floor and this girl would start spazzing. Just chill out. And I was so excited for the second semester because I thought I was going to get another room senior. We moved to another room, but it was the same room senior. I don't know why I keep looking up, but I kind of hard to remember. I mean, you look up, you know, that memory kind of thing. And I also remember the stories of bonus school. If you went to a Nigerian bonus school, I don't know about other countries in Africa, but if you went to a Nigerian bonus school, you know the story of Madame Coin Coin. If you don't know, get to know. In our school, it wasn't just Madame Coin Coin. We had Bunk Shika, Shift Make I Sleep, and then we had Bush Babies. I think there was a couple more, but those are the ones I remember right now there are lots and lots of stories of madame coin coin but what i know about madame coin coin is she was actually a teacher in the battle she always wear red with her red heels she actually flogged a kid and they sat yes so this is her story she flogged somebody's child somebody picking she flogged the child and then she got sacked from the school on her way back home moto She had a collision, a collision with a car, and she died. But then when she died, one of her shoes, it flung. <laughs> one of her shoe flew, it flowed, it flew, I don't care, it went away. It flew all the way to somewhere else. So when she was arose from the dead, her spirit is always looking for the shoe, because that was her favorite pair of shoes. So she's always wearing just one pair of heels, limping. Limping with the heels. That's why we call her Madame Coin Coin. She's looking for the second leg in our school because they sacked her in our school. Actually, she thinks it's the school's fault that she died. But she's looking for her second red shoe. If you see it, please let her know. That's the story of Madame Coin Coin. The story of Bunk Shaker is because there were a lot of bunks in the hostel. Bunk Shaker in the night will shake your bunk bed. If you fall down, it's cool. <laughs> You're gone. But if you can stay and grip your bed, you don't actually feel the shaking of the bump. If you fall down, it's over for you. I'm sorry, it's over for you. They always come in the middle of the night. They are bandages. They don't walk in the day. Shift maker sleep will come, ask you to move and then sleep beside you. And if you don't move and let it sleep dear, you're gonna die. According to the story. And also, if anyone sleeps in the spot that the spirit has slept. You hear that English? If anyone sleeps in the spot that the spirit has slept, that person is gonna die. And then we have bush babies. They are triplets, but they are babies. And then one time, they decided to play a prank on the bus. Somebody who got red coats, and then in the night, we were hearing noises and stuff. It was kind of crazy, but it was a fun experience. Yeah, guys, so this is where we're going to stop for the part one. Stay tuned for part two. This video is kind of all over the place. I just want to talk, so let me just talk, okay? I hope you guys liked and enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below. What are some things that you can relate to so far? Comment down below. If you went to middle school, comment down below. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. See ya. Hashtag. Thank you.